When you think of a smartphone powerful enough to handle everything and also reflect your personality, there are only few that come to mind. The latest iPhone and the top of the line Samsung Galaxies are more than just gadgets. They make a statement and enhance your tech experience every day. It is widely agreed that good experiences come at a price. Regardless of the cost, everyone seeks a positive experience in all aspects of life. What if I tell you that there is a smartphone that is very powerful, very capable, yet very less people talk about it? Hey there everyone, welcome back to EdTech. This is your host Eddie and in this video we are talking about the iQOO 12. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great. This is the iQOO 12. I've been using this phone for a while now and I'm enjoying it a lot. The phone comes in a BMW themed box that gives it a premium feel and indicates that it is packed with great specs. The design of the phone is very classy with a nice looking sandstone back. Holding this phone feels premium in hand, justifying the 53,000 rupees price tag. I wish there was a BMW logo on this phone too. That would have been great. It is only available on the Legend model in white color. In the box, you also get 120 watts charging brick with a Type-C cable that charges the 500mAh battery from 0 to 100 in just 25 minutes, giving you around 7 hours of screen on time with moderate usage. You are looking at a 6.78 inch 144Hz display that has a crisp resolution with bright colors. Extremely thin bezels make watching content on this phone a great experience. When I saw this phone, I was impressed with the display a lot. What is not very great about this phone are the speakers. The dual stereo speakers are good but not as loud as you expect them to be. The audio quality is nice and crisp but it lacks the low end punch. It is not a deal breaker because most of us use a pair of Bluetooth headset to have the best audio experience. Speaking of that, I'm currently using the Samsung Buds 2 as my daily and these are a great pair of Bluetooth earbuds that you must check out. There is a link in the description for all the products used in this video. Coming back to the iQ. 12. Let's talk about what makes this phone the best in class, the performance. Packed with the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, this phone is ultra smooth. I played multiple games on this device on full graphics and it handled all of it so well. And this is where it all made sense. It gets a little warm sometimes but never overheats. One thing that I noticed that if you use any other charger, then it gets super hot while charging. It's better if you use the charger that comes with the phone. Apart from gaming, multitasking and video editing on Instagram and other platforms was super smooth. I am not going to talk about the operating system because once you buy a phone and use it for a while, you will get used to it no matter what. So if you are switching from your current OS to Fun Touch OS, then it's totally up to you whether you like it or you don't like it, but you will get used to it very easily because the customizations here make it super fun if you're into that. I am not very much into gaming and I'm more interested in the cameras on this phone. And I'm sure that you'll agree that phone cameras are a big part of creating content on social media and it's very natural to expect great camera performance from a phone of this price. Well, you get a triple camera setup, 50 megapixel wide angle primary camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, 64 megapixel periscope with up to 3x optical zoom and a dual LED flash all sitting in this gigantic camera module. If you ask me, I'm very surprised with the camera performance on this phone. Well, most of the time. The low light performance is not very good, the photos get grainy and loses quality. But in daylight, it's pretty good. I am going to simply compare it with the S24 Ultra to give you an idea how the camera performance looks like. I know it's not a fair comparison, but the iQ12 is somewhere trying to be like its elders. How close does it get? Well, here are some camera samples. Let's compare some differences. the back camera of the iQOO 12 and the S24 Ultra. This is 4K 60fps. Can you see any difference? Can you spot some differences here? We are inside 
the Triumph showroom. These are the motorcycles that we are looking at. It's a great showroom. The Ico 12 can also shoot 8K 30fps video. So I don't know how you're gonna use that feature, but yeah, it is there. The left one is the S24 Ultra, the right is the Ico 12. Which one is better, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. These are some lovely looking motorcycles you see here. In a world where Instagram influencers use their phone cameras to educate and influence people might not like the video capabilities of the phone, especially the front cameras. I'm currently watching the IQ12 front camera video. I am here at the Triumph showroom. Came here to test ride some of the motorcycles, me and my friend Anubhav Roy. There is our car and these are some beauties. You know, we are planning to buy this motorcycle. This is a Triumph 900, Speed Twin 900. We are doing the paperwork. We are trying to figure out the variants and everything. So, I'll, I'll tell you the update about it. So this is was this was the IQ12 front camera video. Tell me in the comments how do you like the quality and stability. Overall, this device is a great package with some impressive specs and performance that also satisfies the photographer in you. It is safe to say that the iQ12 is a solid device to consider under 55k. Let me know what you think about the device and if you have any other questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer them. There are a few phones and a lot of interesting gadgets that I'm going to review in the upcoming videos. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Eddie signing out and I will see you in the next one. And this is my game to play to claim a brand new name. Oh. And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun?